in today's video, we're going to be talking about how do you get views. And I'm going to tell you the answer right up front. There's only two ways you get views. The first one is that people stumble upon your product while searching for something like in TPT. That is, oh, that's both of them. <laughs> okay. And the other one is that you drive traffic to your store and they look at your product from there, okay? Let's get started on this. If you are new or returning, welcome. Here, just so primary, we talk teacher side hustles, mainly teachers pay teachers. And this is often probably, it's if not one, number one, it's number two often asked question that I get. How do I get more views? As I've said, let's break down the two. This is Chester. Chester, you're gonna say hello? And this is Milo, <laughs> the backside of Milo. They're normally not in here when I'm talking. When it comes to views, most of us, okay, and I'm, I'm, I've been guilty of this, we will upload our product and just expect people to see it and to buy it. TPT has over 9 million products, probably 8 million are showing, I don't know, but they're there's a lot of products and how does one person see your product if you are going to go that route path journey you better make sure one your products optimize i've got videos on seo uh, optimizing thumbnails product descriptions titles all that that's one and two that that same product is trending now this is not trendy with a Y, this is trending, I-N-G. <laughs> the difference between them, trendy is fads. They come and they go. I don't even know what's trendy right now. I have no clue. But what's trending right now is often showing on Teachers Pay Teachers search bar. They will tell you. They have a Teachers Pay Teachers seller blog that they will tell you what is trending right now. So if you are making products that are trending and optimized, your chances of getting your products seen are pretty good with the condition that the search results are low. They don't have to be like really low, like a thousand or a hundred or whatever. Again, I've shared my mistakes before. One of my big mistakes was I would make products for my class and then go, oh, hey, let's just upload them onto TPT. And there would already exist 40,000 products that were pretty much like mine. And I'd be thinking, gee, I wonder if I'll get views. Probably not. In fact, some of my products have, I don't even know if they've ever seen the light of day. They are so far buried in the search. So look at what's trending and optimize it. You might already have products in your store that are trending, fabulous. Make sure your cover is looking good. That's people are gonna stop the scroll. Make sure, you know, clear titles with keywords. Your snippet, which is the first three lines in your product description. Talk about keywords for that product. It's actually not that hard to do. In fact, I wish, I wish I'd have known this a little bit more when I started. I, they didn't, they just said make products that you want. That was horrible advice. And I think in my early videos, I've given you the same horrible advice and I apologize. It's terrible advice. Don't make, if you wanna make money, if you want to make money, make products that people want or need, not what you want to make, okay? If you wanna make something and there already exists 100,000, hello, guilty as charged. And then you wanna know why it's not getting views? Really? <laughs> I, I, there's nothing more I can say about that. TPT is a business, okay? You don't make what you wanna make, you make what's going to sell, okay? If you wanna make a product that you love, then like, hey, go for it. But what often happens is uh, sometimes I get a request to, can you just look at my store? I look at their store and I'm thinking, and they're like, I don't know why I'm not getting views. I, I can. I don't even have to look at the product. I can tell. The titles are cutesy, unique, and no one's gonna type those words, so that it's not gonna show up. And they are in such popular uh, niches, or pro they're such popular products that you're probably gonna get buried within the search. 
Okay, if you want to make money, make what people want and then optimize it. Even if it takes you a couple extra days to upload it, optimize it. Okay, so that's number one, how you get views. Okay, so number two, traffic. Traffic. Now, some of this traffic is going to be you generated. Some of this traffic is going to be other sellers generating it and that you just happen to reap the results of that. So you could have a product in a newsletter. You could have someone talk about a product and they just, yours shows up when they search that product. It happens. When it comes to traffic, you can go different paths, journeys, routes, whatever you want to call it. If you are starting TPT, your, your goal is to get 20 plus products on TPT and then start looking at at least one okay in fact I would just maybe stick to one I wish I wish again this had been the advice I'd been given and it annoys me going why didn't they say this pick one pick one to drive traffic now there is no one right answer when it comes to traffic you may say well I want to do Instagram great then do Instagram I want to do TikTok great do TikTok just Think two things. One, what is your ultimate goal with these platforms, whether it be TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, your email? What is the ultimate goal? For most of us, it's sales. We want some sales out of this. But at the same time, you're now at the mercy of the algorithm of those platforms. So you can't just Put a post on Instagram and expect hundreds and thousands of people who are going to go, oh, hey, look at this post. Oh, hey, I want to go get that product. Doesn't always work that way. Okay. Often it, I mean, and it really doesn't work <laughs> for a lot of people that way because people do that all the time. That's what a lot of people do. And, and, you know, teachers are like, yeah, whatever. Okay. You have to come up with some sort of strategy. I'm going to just step off the path for a second and just mention something. A year or two ago, I heard that it is better to have 1,000 fans, you know, loyal people, than it is to have like 100,000 people that would, couldn't care less really what you sold. Your TPT business could make a, would make a huge impact if you had 1,000 people truly following you as a fan like they are going to be like you make it I'll buy it they are still out there how do you find them that's always the you know the holy grail of, of questions during the summer I read a book by Pat Flynn called super fans I'm going to put it right here I actually listened to the audiobook while I'm chauffeuring my parents driving them everywhere this is a like I said this whole idea of having a thousand super fans is an interesting concept and you can build your email this way you could build a social media following this way there are a few different ways that you can build but I'm not going to get into that right now the thing is if you choose to use Instagram for example in order to get your stuff even seen by people putting a post out there will not do it it might get you might get the attention of five or five or six people maybe you actually have to start with something that's going to really grab their attention and then you got to follow it up and then you got to follow that up. And if you don't follow them up, the algorithm says, ah, no, I don't think we'll show your stuff. It's really dicey. For the longest time, I used to hear you have to post every single day. I don't post for months. Cat in the closet. Got to get. I had to get the cat out of the closet. <laughs> for the longest time, Instagram's algorithm said you if you don't post every day we're not going to show your stuff i don't think that's the case now but it's not even about posts now it's about reels posting making reels and so now you're making little videos and things like that being on stories and getting engagement and all these things so if you are new to tpt you've got to consider the time that it will take to do these things on instagram and expect a very slow growth. That's just the way it is. It is very similar for TikTok. In fact, I was told 
that with TikTok, they want to see a minimum of one video every single day, ideally three if you want to grow. I don't have time for that. Next. Okay. These are things you got to consider. Personally, my favorite is Pinterest. Why? Because I don't have to worry about engagement. I just have to make sure I'm using keywords and I'm making fresh pins. Fresh pins means I'm not taking one pin and pinning it to like, I don't know, all these boards. I'm making a new pin for every board or whatever I'm going to do, right? Uh, maybe I'll make a Pinterest video, <laughs> Pinterest video later on towards the summer. But personally, I've had some good success with Pinterest. Not everyone has, but again, it's their algorithm. You've got to find out how their algorithm works and then follow that. If that's what they want, then do what they want, right? So there's that way. You can consider starting an email like last week's video talked about with starting and growing an email. You could go that route as well. See, there's different things. and. I can't tell you what need, what platform is going to connect with you, you to your future buyers, your clients, your leads. I don't know which one it's going to be. My two big ones have been Pinterest and my website. I get the most traffic from those two, but a lot of work has gone into those. I mean, I and the hard thing with Pinterest is if, if you skip it for a month, like I have done, everything just drops. So now you got to get climbed back up. Platforms are tricky. You need to be able to commit a certain amount of time. What, what time? I don't know. It depends on you and what you want to do. I'm going to cut this for now, but I'm going to share with you my six month goal that I did back in, started at the end of July and it ended in January because it was all about getting more views and therefore getting more sales. And I want to sh share with you some of the things I did and what the results were. Okay.